Hello there, yes, the weekend, a few very deserved days off. If you need the money, you might be tempted in the summer to do a summer camp with very young children. Don't. Right, <laughs> anyway, uh, today I just thought we'd do a kind of rounding up and overview of my five rules of grifterdom. And um, today I was going to sort of like, I was trying to think over the last few days about... Um, the notion of cancel culture and the way that that in neatly encapsulates all of those kind of five rules. But luckily, yesterday, uh, Toby Young cropped up on uh, Pat Patrick Christie's show on GB News. And um, I thought we'd look at my five rules uh, through the lens of Toby Young, who, don't forget, is at the apex of grifterhood. So actually, it kind of inverts some of the rules that I have, but they still, I think, stand. So anyway, let's see him in action and unpack it. Cool. Mm. Following the destructive and damaging banking scandal that almost saw Nigel Farage lose access to the UK banking system for his views, it seems that the world of finance is heading for another big mistake. The campaign group, you may well not have heard of this lot, by the way, but you will be hearing a lot about them in the coming weeks and months, B-Lab UK. Well, it's supposedly lobbying for social justice to become a legal requirement, which would mean that issues relating to diversity, oppression and language would become actively restrictive laws against free speech in large institutions. Now, that might sound a bit complicated, but joining me now is the General Secretary of the Free Speech Union, Toby Young, to discuss what this means in, in practical, day-to-day, -day, realistic terms and how this will be affecting our lives. Toby, take it away. Yes, yeah, so um, B Corps is a certificate that companies can apply for, a bit like becoming Stonewall Diversity Champions. They have to answer 80 questions, the certification process takes over a year, and what they have to do in order to get certified is they have to turbo boost their equity, diversity, and inclusion policies. They have to change their articles of association, so the purpose of the company is not to maximize profits for shareholders. Uh, they have to um, give equal priority to people and the planet, both internally and externally. Essentially, the companies have to pay fealty to the woke cult if they want to become certified as B Corps, short for B Corporations. B is for benefit. They benefit the whole of society, not just the shareholders. That's the idea. Sounds quite benign and well-meaning, Patrick, but what it means in practice is that if you oppose net zero, for instance, if you don't embrace critical race theory or gender uh, identity ideology in those companies, you can find yourself quite quickly purged from those companies. And we saw exactly that happening mm. in the case of Nigel Farage. Nigel Farage was kicked out, debanked by Coots, uh, the bank he'd been with for 40 years, uh, shortly after Coots became a yeah. certified B Corp company. Yes, well, there you have it. That sounds awful, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, if this goes through, who knows where it'll end? Dreadful, 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 yes. But let's just unpack one particular, very small segment of that before we move on. Well, it's supposedly lobbying for social justice to become a legal requirement. Which... Yes, supposedly lobbying for something to become a legal requirement. So it's not a legal requirement. So it's not a thing. Mm. And we can unpack a little bit of Toby as well, so let's just... Take a segment of him and think about that. They have to change their articles of association so the purpose of the company is not to maximise profits for shareholders. Now then, it's a legal requirement to maximise profits for shareholders. Uh, everything in UK business law is designed to maximise profitability of companies. It's very much a legal requirement. So I'm afraid Lord Young's boy is talking bollocks there. And he knows he's talking bollocks. Of course he does, but he slipped that in. Right, anyway, just to kind of think about what's going on here. Well, yes, it's going to become the latest bugbear, OK? the latest bugbear that these people are going to come out with okay they're going to use the whole nigel farage having to have a netwest bank account as a wedge issue to uh push their own real agenda and you know what is the agenda well of course demographics means that people are changing 
Uh, as people get older, they are becoming less right-wing and less... You can sell them this bollocks. It's a lot harder to sell young people this bollocks. So we will have a go at what we see as the culture around this. And this is a warning shot. Companies mustn't do this, okay? Otherwise, Lord Young's boy is going to come for you, right? Okay, do you remember during the PayPal thing when... Um, uh, the Free Speech Union was having some problems with PayPal. And basically, Toby Young's attitude was, they messed with the wrong guy with me because I've got friends. And that's what this is about. It's a warning shot to companies not to do this because GB News and Toby Young and all the rest of the grifters will go for you. Yes. Anyway, let's look at this through the microcosm of my five rules of grifterhood. And um, yeah, let's just see that and we'll move on. Yes, well, if you may recall from the last week, um, basically, um, our rules of grifterhood. Uh, number one is I've got a Twitter feed and I'm going to use it. Now, Toby Young being at the apex of this means that every other right-wing grifter will follow him very directly on this. So we're going to get a blizzard of this stuff over the next few days. Everything to do with this particular company selling something. Let's be face about it. Let's be clear about this. This is simply a company selling a product to other companies to make their lives easier. Something has been going on for quite a bit of time. I was reminded watching Toby early today with um, uh, ethical investment. During the 80s, the banking boom of the 80s, there was a huge kind of push towards ethical banking and uh, a lot of people on the right poo-pooed it at the time the ridiculous notion that you might not pump oil at the ground out of the ground or bomb palestinians was seen as somehow woke before we actually pc would call that wouldn't we yes it's political correct nonsense that was the thing toby would have been saying that in those days but he's moved on to slightly different language um in particular i was <laughs> reminded of the two members of the young ones selling ethical investments through friends providence back in the I think 1990 that was, actually. So yeah, um, we can expect Toby being a, the apex, the one of the senior grifts, um, that every other right-wing grifter will follow this. So I'm fully expecting, I'm hoping that's the case anyway, otherwise it's going to be proved wrong, but I'm hoping these people are going to follow him. They will. Um, he doesn't fall into the me, not me uh, rule here because uh, he's white and straight with a very odd obsession with women's breasts but that's another story you can look that up for yourself so that one doesn't actually apply he doesn't have a minority thing although he's not very keen on trans people at all yes and again rule number three the whole school of life thing means that no he doesn't fall into that okay but the whole knowing nothing and making it a vir virtue yeah well you know, he's quite happy to pretend that certain things are real when they're not. Outrage, number four, of course he's always outraged, but he's outraged on behalf of all of his friends, and that's where the key bit of the grift comes in. This is all about policing corporations and saying to them, you had better not be part of a culture that we don't like. We're after maximising the wealth extraction of the UK, right? We have to have turn the UK into a libertarian paradise where all of the proles are working in free ports and have no human rights at all. That's what we're after. Toby Young is outraged when things don't meet that plan. And lastly, the notion of gender ideology is blindingly on display here when he uses phrase like woke. Woke cult. It's a woke cult. Yes, it's a woke cult. And you'll notice, as I've pointed out in this piece, he's lying through his teeth about this. It's not a thing. Say it again, it's not a thing. This is a lobbying organisation. But we can use it as a wedge issue because we will get all of our friends in GB News and Talk TV and the Daily Telegraph to join us in frightening the children. You'd better eat your greens at lunch because otherwise the wokists, the woke cult will come late at night from under your bed and steal everything and they'll debank you like they didn't with Nigel Farage. Absolute 100% Grey day stuff you'll find in a field. Anyway, there we go. <clears throat> Do have a lovely weekend. I am very much looking forward to mine. Going to be productive. Yeah.
Have a good one.